hi my loves welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title of this video your girl is going to show you how to make sea moss gel so everything you need to know from preparing it to blending it to perfection so i cannot wait to show you guys and if you are new to my channel i will link my previous videos down below where i use sea moss and let me tell y'all this is just something everyone needs to incorporate in their lives in some way. So I like to consume sea moss on a daily basis and as of recently, I have been using it topically on my skin. And if you've never heard about sea moss before, let me show you what it looks like. It is basically seaweed and it's found in the sea um, and it has a lot of salt and dirt and it smells like the ocean. So you need to really clean it and prepare it well for you to consume this. Um, and you will see up close shots of this Irish sea moss. They pretty much sum it all up on the back, so I'm just going to read it for you. Um, so Irish sea moss contains 92 of the 102 minerals, okay? Along with vitamins A, B, C, D, E, and K. It is especially rich in calcium and iodine, as well as containing potassium and so many other ingredients that are so beneficial for your joints and the elasticity of your skin as well. Because this is so mineral rich, this is amazing to consume and provides the body with so much energy. I can say that for myself, I just feel so ready to conquer the day every time that I put this in my tea or my smoothies. And it is really nourishing for the skin and the hair. Guys, I have nothing but amazing things to say. I think that you should definitely do your research on Irish sea moss and try to get your hands on it and use it for yourself. Yeah, we're gonna jump on into how I make my sea moss and you're gonna love the result. So let's just hop on into it now, shall we? Alright you guys, so this is the sea moss that I am using. I purchased this locally. You can find sea moss typically at an Asian or Caribbean market or online at Amazon, I believe, or Etsy, but do your thorough research and read those reviews. Um, as you can tell, sea moss does come from the sea, therefore it will have a lot of sand and salt and just lots of little particles of dirt. On it so you really want to thoroughly wash your sea moss a few rinses will be necessary as you can see the first rinse is going to be very very cloudy the water will be mucky because you want to get in there and really make sure that each strand of that sea moss vine I guess you would say is extremely clean so as you can see I'm really taking my time here and what I personally like to do is just separate the clean vines of sea moss that I have thoroughly cleaned and put that in a clean container and then once everything has its first good rinse I will change the water that you can see is extremely dirty and then add some clean water and give it another rinse Again, don't rush the rinsing process. You wanna make sure that it's very clean, so give it a good massage. And share your gratitude, share your intentions for this sea moss. Um, just really try to enjoy the process. Now once I gave it a good rinse, I am going to change the water once again. And this time I am going to be adding the juice of one key lime. Um, so I think this helps to neutralize the taste. So you will not be tasting the sea once you're done. And it also just gives it an extra good cleaning. So what I like to do is once I squeeze in one key lime, I put the actual, you know, shell i guess you would say into the mixture as well and then i will cover this with some ceram wrap and let this sit for about 20 minutes so i'm not yet soaking it i know a lot of people will show you to just go ahead and soak it you know for a few hours overnight all that jazz but what i do is let this soak for 20 minutes first so consider it like a deep cleaning and then as you can see i'm going to remove that and then take out the key limes that i have sitting in there remove that water and it's already kind of like expanded not as much yet and then I'm going to give it another rinse. You guys, it might be extra, but this really helps with the flavor. I'm telling you, you won't taste anything. Look how clean this is. It's just 
perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so now that we have our sea moss as clean as we can possibly get it, we are going into the soaking process, which means we will be using spring water or filtered water. Use water that is as pure as you can possibly find, so no toxins, no fluoride, none of that. So now we're gonna take an additional key lime and squeeze that juice into the water, and then I'm gonna just throw in the other key limes that I used earlier, just the shells of that into the water as well. So make sure that everything is submerged under the water because it will expand in size. It's pretty incredible. So once you're done, you're going to put some saran wrap on top and let this soak. I like to let mine soak overnight, but the minimum amount of time is four hours and the maximum is about 12 hours. Thanks to YouTube magic, it is now the next day. So I will be removing the key limes from the water. And as you can see, my sea moss has expanded in size and it is ready to be blended. But let me just show you guys some up close shots because it is beautiful. So now all we have to do is blend it. Typically, I would put everything into my large size blender, but for this video, I am going to be using my magic bullet, so I'm going to be blending this in portions. However, what you wanna do is take your spring or filtered water and fill it about halfway into your blender, as you can see. So I like to eyeball it. It's always easier to add water. Um, then to just drench it in the first go. So if it's your first time, just add as you go. But basically you want a creamy consistency. You don't want it to be too liquidy, but you don't want it to be too thick as well. Just a nice creamy texture. Um, I will show you guys right now how it should look. So I'm taking my spoon and as you can see, it's not too drippy, it's not too thick. It's just a nice, gel-like consistency, <laughs> hence sea moss gel. And then once you're done, you're going to just put this into a glass container. I like to use some mason jars, fill it to the top, and then put this into your refrigerator for a few hours. I say about two to four hours to do the trick. And once you're done, this is the test to make sure that you have the perfect consistency. So after it's been sitting in the refrigerator for a few hours, you wanna take it out and then turn your mason jar upside down. This is gonna take some trust. Of course, eyeball it. If it's looking drippy before you even turn it upside down, don't do it, put it back in the fridge. But if it looks like it has settled, turn it upside down and if it does not spill outside of your jar, you are good to go. As you can see, you have perfect, perfect sea moss ready for you to consume. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. As you can see, I have this huge mason jar full of sea moss along with the other mini container. Um, and I just love to make these batches. Sometimes I even share them with friends and family but it's just so amazing. Again, try to get your hands on this because you can use it for so many things. You can incorporate it in different meals, different face masks, different hair masks. It is just incredible. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys try it out for yourselves, and I will see you very shortly in my next video.